this is Tony from Her Homestead Skills and today we are going to make a traditional Italian cookie uh, called Amaretti uh, and it's mostly an almond flavored cookie so here we go okay first item on the agenda is that we are going to separate uh, three egg whites so we want to use three egg whites and one whole egg. Once again, this, there are variations of this recipe and some only call for straight egg whites. And others also want you to add vegetable oil, which is something I'm also not going to use that in this recipe. Okay, so there's our egg whites in the mixer and we will beat that up. Okay, to the egg whites, turn that off so you can hear me, we're going to add one and a half cups of sugar. So, since I don't want to spill any of my sugar, I'm going to use a quarter cup here at a time, or at least to start it off. So there's one quarter cup one half cup okay there's our one and a half cups of sugar and we'll mix that up okay now I'm going to add the the whole egg and beat that in Okay, and just to make it a little bit easier on myself, I have separated, uh, just to make sure that you can see this, okay, I have separated dry ingredients and wet ingredients, and we're going to just put them in a little cup so that they can be added all at once. So, of the dry ingredients, we want half teaspoon of cocoa. half teaspoon of baking soda. Let me just wipe that. Half teaspoon of baking soda. And a teaspoon of baking powder. Those are my of the wet ingredients we want two tablespoons of the Deseronta which is a an almond liqueur so two tablespoons once again this is an optional you can not put this in if you don't want to half teaspoon of, sorry, one teas, two teaspoons of almond extract, so teaspoons, 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 so two teaspoons of almond extract, there's one, and there's two, and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And you can see this is going to be pretty flavorful. Okay, so we're going to put these all away now. Okay, so now I'm going to add the white ingredients first. Dry. 
then I want to change my paddle here. Okay, so I'm changed, I've changed the paddle. And the last ingredient we have to add is almond flour. Now I'm going to start with four cups and I may add more. Okay, and another variation to this recipe would be to use so much regular flour and uh, really chopped up almonds, not ground into flour, but very small bits of almonds. So that's another variation. Okay, we're going to mix this all up. Okay, and I'm looking at it. It's pretty moist, so I'm going to add one more cup of the almond flour and I may just add a couple of tablespoons of regular flour after this, we'll see. But I think this should be enough. tablespoons of regular flour, just to firm it up a little. Now I could have gone with more and more and more almond flour, uh, and especially if you want to be totally gluten free you can do that, but that seems to be a little bit closer to the consistency that I want. We want to be able to form balls, it's still very soft. So let me just mix this up just a bit more. Okay, so now we have our oven preheated to 350 and it is actually ready. And I have a couple of cookie sheets lined with parchment paper. We'll start off with this one. And we're going to put some icing sugar in a bowl here to be able to roll the cookies in the icing sugar. And I always found it just as easy just to scoop out a spoonful, roll it with my hand, that might be a bit on the big side, and then roll it in the icing sugar. and sort of flatten it on the cookie sheet. Yeah, and that is just a tad on the large side. It doesn't really matter. Some people like to make them really small and others not. So, but I think I will try to make them just a bit smaller than that. And my daughter would tell you that a teaspoon size is what you want. And that is more appropriate size there. So we're just going to take them and roll them in the icing sugar. As you can see, this is just the right consistency here. So, having added that bit of flour, I could have added probably another cup or two of um, the almond flour if I didn't want to add regular flour. But that, was, that little bit of regular flour helped to firm it up a bit so it wasn't too moist. Okay, so now 
beyond this, I have peeled uh, some almonds and we're going to stick one in the middle here. Now you can make these plain or you can add the almonds or cherries and I have cherries as well so I'm going to do three different flavors here. Okay, so I'll get back to you when I've got a few more of these uh, put together. Okay, so I have the first tray done. I'm just going to top them off with a little almond. And then they go in the oven for 10 minutes. That's it. So while these ones are in the oven, I will prepare a second batch. And I did earlier peel these. You, you don't have to peel your almonds, but I do prefer them peeled. I did not bother to roast this bunch because they will be going in the oven with these cookies. So. Okay, so in the oven for 10 minutes and then on to the second. Okay, for batch number two, I have drained the maraschino cherries and I'm going to shove one inside the center of each one. I probably should cut these in half, but... So, I have them both with an almond um, center and with a cherry center. Batch number three I may just make plain or I may finish up those almonds. I suspect we might get four, four trays. Okay, and these as well will go in the oven for 10 minutes. Okay, taking out another batch of almond amaretto cookies. And we're going to let these cool off. And then we're going to put them aside for Christmas. And I think I have one last tray in the oven. Oh, yeah, I know I have one last tray in the oven. See if we could make room for these fellas. Okay, my batch of amaretto cookies are done for this Christmas season. And we will just let them cool and then put them into little baggies. Okay, that's it for now. Okay, I have finally completed my batch of amaretto cookies for this season. And I have uh, added either a maraschino cherry or an almond center in each one. Uh, I like that extra touch rather than just leaving them plain. But that would be fine as well. So um, 
this is uh, another addition to my prepping for the holidays video. I hope you enjoyed it and we will catch you on the next one.